Welcome back everyone. Uh, so I got a comment from Technish. Uh, I'm gonna read it a little bit fast here. Smooth transition between the music tracks will be nice, I think. Great job. And yeah, uh, my latest uh, devlog when I did work with Blixia was I did make a music manager mixed with the zone triggering. So that's something very important to make smooth transition. So that's something I'm gonna fix in this video. So that you can see here, I start coding for audio mixer snapshot because I did read that I can use this for transition for the music. So it feels like, yeah, this gonna be really easy, but no, it wasn't. I did try it for maybe two hours or something, nothing worked, so I did completely remove it. Then did I feel like I just gonna use animation for the volume fade in and fade out so yeah in the future maybe i'm gonna try snapshot but right now i just want to finish this fade in and fade out effect yeah it's lunch time but before i'm gonna eat i got some good news the transition with the music is working uh, maybe i'm gonna find some bugs here and there but the good thing it's working. I'm gonna show some result very soon, so yeah, but first I'm gonna eat. Okay, now it's time to show the final result. Just kill the golem a little bit fast and that you can see it looks a little bit weird because I'm using gizmo and I can be honest, I've been working with this for two, maybe three days something. First I'm gonna explain what's happening here. That you can see I have made so I can show here the volume is changing from 1 to 0 because I want this kind of fade effect and I'm using animation for that. Then on the music manager that you can see I'm using current music so that's something it's playing right now. Then I have add check music so if we not get the current music then we're gonna find which song we're gonna play next. And this is something the zone triggering are fixing, like so we're checking all the time if it's uh, same or not same music. I'm gonna show the full result in games. So you can see how it looks like and how it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the result for the music transition. So that's over, now I'm gonna open up a new book and start working with particle effects when we're hitting the enemies. So the plan is using sword gonna have different particle effects, using example magic staff gonna have different particle effects, if it's a frost staff gonna have some a little bit frosty particle if we fire gonna have different for that so i'm gonna try to have different particle effects so i need to figure out how i'm gonna do that so that's something i'm gonna work with now the hit particle effects is working it's working for sword staff and bow so that's really awesome and i did change the code for player attack so we can easily change example for bow and new magic things with hit particle effects. So that's really, really awesome. Now we're gonna show the result. Okay, here is the result and I hope you like it. That you can see we did add some sound effect. I did add a particle effect and it feels a lot more impactful now when we are hitting and killing the enemies. Yeah. 
and remember comment if you want to give some feedback and like the video and see ya see ya next time.